So with the new OG season of Fortnite, there's probably a lot of you guys looking to edit your very own Fortnite montages. And I figured what better way to introduce you guys to the channel, or give you guys a welcome back to Fortnite editing, than by doing an updated DaVinci Resolve 2023 how to edit Fortnite montages for free tutorial. I hope the title of this video isn't that long. But I'm going to be explaining to you guys how you could edit your very own Fortnite montages at a professional level for 100% free inside of DaVinci Resolve. That's right, you literally don't have to pay for anything. You can try it out for 100% free. The best thing is, if you don't like it, you don't have to pay for anything, so you're not at a loss. But if you guys do enjoy it, you learned something, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna have a Google Drive of free presets down below in the description. Make sure to go check those out. I also have a $5 editing pack with all the presets I use in my own videos. So if you see something that you like, you wanna check out a more complete version of the free presets, go check out the $5 editing pack, super low price. I'll have that at the top of the description as well. And with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first step of this process is actually going to be to download DaVinci Resolve. So you can literally just look up DaVinci Resolve download or also have a link in the, in the description. You literally just press that, download it, and then you should be good to go to actually just open it up. So I'm actually going to see you guys once I have DaVinci Resolve fully opened and ready to go. So now what we're going to do once we actually have DaVinci open is we're going to go into new project and we're just going to name it OG Fortnite tutorial sample or something like that. And then we should be good to go. So basically, you guys know this is not going to be a complete beginner's tutorial i'm just gonna assume that you guys know a fair amount about davinci already if you guys are watching a tutorial on davinci for the first time go watch my beginner's tutorial that's gonna probably round bases what better than i can explain in this video so the first thing you do is gonna go into the edit tab go into file go to project settings change our frame rate to 60 and then we're gonna make sure our resolution's on 1920 by 1080 as well because that is kind of the industry standard in terms of the resolution that videos are posted on posted to youtube as so we're gonna press save go to our file explorer and the first two things we're actually going to import to our media pool is our song and then we're also going to import our clips that we're going to be using in our montage but super quickly before i actually get into the tutorial showing you guys how to edit your montages i want to quickly talk to you about a company i just started called breezling it's actually my very own media company specializing in social media management and content creation for both businesses and creators we have some of the best of the best creators as well as some small creators that we've taken to tremendous new levels through our social media management and content creation tools so if you guys want to help me out and support this journey i'll have our socials at the very top of the description if you guys want to drop us a follow on either tiktok twitter or instagram i'll also have our website on there if you want to actually sign up for a free 30 minute consultation call there's no harm in doing that but i want to take up any more of you guys' time go check us out at the top of the description and let's get right back into the tutorial so i'm actually going to go here to wherever i have them saved to so i have let's say these ones for example i have a couple one pump fill clips i'm just going to drag those in then i'm also going to go to my music folder where i have my songs downloaded to so i'm honestly probably just going to use probably gonna use the song tiger by 637 godwin and i'll use the 637 godwin one in like every single tutorial but that's because his music is copyright free and he makes good music so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag in our song here and then what we're going to do from there is we're actually going to find our points to sync to so the cool thing about davinci versus any other editing software is that the audio levels are clearly defined from kind of like a visual perspective we can see that all of these peaks in the audio track are our beats that we're going to want to sync to so that makes things super super easy when we want to actually sync our clip to different beats so we can assume that this first spike right here is going to be the beat drop so we can just literally come here press m and our keyboard to add a marker so we go that's going to be our first beat and then we can see this one's going to be our second one so just add a marker to that one and then we got our third one right here and then what we're going to do from there is we're literally just going to cut on the left and right a little bit so that way we have a defined amount of space to work with perfect okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to change our marker color to red and we're going to come through and add our transition one so the one thing you guys may notice about almost every single fortnite montage song ever is that there's always a beat and then there's like a clap or a hi-hat a distinct kind of noise after that beat so for example let me quickly show you right here i don't know if you guys heard the clap that i stopped on i'm going to add a marker there right there i don't know if you guys heard that and then also right here so we're gonna add right there and then also 
right here so there we go that is pretty much the little segment we're going to be using we got our kill transition kill transition kill transition so now all we got to do is we're going to drag in our clips now so starting off we're going to do i don't know this 160 filler doesn't look the greatest maybe that one uh, actually let's do this one okay so what we're going to do is we're going to double click on any of the clips we want to use we're going to find the actual kill itself so right here we're going to go to the right of the kill press this little arrow to the right go to the left of the kill press this little arrow to the left then we're going to come through here and find the first frame that we have shotgun pellets on which is going to be here we can see the shotgun spell shotgun pellets hit here but the frame before it doesn't so we're actually just going to press m on our keyboard to add a marker drag that in and then we're just going to line that marker up with the marker we have in the song drag it out on either side and we literally should be good from there so let me make this a little bit bigger just so you guys can see that's literally it's super easy that's all it takes so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to time remap it right after we drag it into the timeline so all we got to do for this we can literally just click on the layer and cut it right click unlink these right here go to retime controls press this little black triangle change speed 50 percent and then instead of dragging it from the top we're going to drag it just like this that's that little slow motion on the kill and then we're going to do the exact same process we're going to come through here go to the left go to the right find the first frame with the shotgun pellets right here which is gonna be that add our marker line it up drag it out on the left as well then we're gonna unlink it cut it right here click retime controls black triangle 50 percent drag it down and that's literally all that i'm just gonna do two clips for now just to show you as an example but that is basically how you do time remapping and how you do syncing so that's literally the first two steps of the montage done that's literally all it takes for that so now we're gonna move on to effects so the first thing i'm gonna show you guys is how to do a screen pump so that's pretty much what i have on every single uh, clip i always have like a screen pump that goes in so for this we're gonna go to our effects library go to adjustment clip drag that on if you don't have effects library you just need to click up here then and you'll have it and then for the actual duration of it you kind of want it to start a little bit before the kill and then you want it to last slightly before the kill ends so then from there we're going to go to where our kill is that exact frame go in here and then go into the fusion tab now from there you're going to copy everything i do press control space look up transform and i need to look it up more press enter and then we can see it's actually connected right here and since this is the actual frame that we get the kill we're going to zoom it in so we're going to press this little keyframe button here on the right side beside size drag it to like maybe i don't know 1.3 might be pushing it might be a little too zoomed in but we can keep it there for now we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten actually let's just go to the beginning of the adjustment clip to be honest then we're gonna change this to one then we're gonna go to the very end change this to one and that we're actually not done so we can see it's like a linear zoom in and out which just looks super stupid it just if you left that the way it was it's just gonna look really bad to fix this make it look good we're gonna go into spline press transform right here press this little thing here and then you're gonna want to press control a s on your keyboard okay so the one mistake i made i forgot to add a second keyframe so we're gonna go one frame to the right of the 1.3 frame we're gonna add a second one then we're gonna go back into the spline so yeah okay now we should be good you're gonna want to copy this graph right here super easy so we can see if you watch the inventory the inventory is a, the best way to track the screen pump we can see that's a little screen pump right there and then if we wanted to we can add a marker to the kill and then just copy paste it over there as well that's basically how you do screen pumps that's the best way to do that now actually utilizing the effects that i have in the description you can actually drag in another adjustment clip and actually have it start on the kill go to the very end of the clip go into the fusion tab and then literally all you have to do is find the presets that we have right here go to davinci drag in like cl clean impact distort rgb whatever and now to actually add that preset in we can see it's disconnected from the lines we need to actually just disconnect this connect it to the shake connect the distort rgb to the media out and then we actually have it but the keyframes are messed up so we have to go into the keyframe menu right here so we're going to open the keyframe menu press the little arrow thing right here and then what we can do is we can drag all of these over to the left to get it as close to the playhead as possible and then we'll ha have to do some individual adjustments so press this arrow thing again we can see it's kind of all over the place we're going to drag this shake over drag this one over as well drag this one over drag this one over then we can actually go in and individually adjust these so we're going to want the first frame of the shake right 
right here. We can expand this one, make sure that the first frame of that one's lined up with the first frame of the clip. Go into the flicker, do the exact same thing, line that up, distort RGB, make sure that's lined up. Pretty much you wanna line up this first little white hash with the beginning of the clip, and then that is the actual impact added itself. That's how you do that. And you can literally do that exact same process with the other impacts that I have in the Google Drive. And then the exact opposite for buildups, you'll literally have an adjustment layer beforehand like this, and then you'll have the last keyframe line up with where the kill is. So that's how you do that. Now for transitions, super, super easy. All we're gonna do is we are going to go to our video transitions tab right here. We can just drag on a cross dissolve just like this. And what it will do is it'll cross dissolve between the actual clips itself. It makes it super, super clean, super easy. You don't have to actually download anything else, but that is how you actually do that itself. And then you can also delete that. We have non-additive dissolves, which look super cool. Fortnite montages, which is like kind of like the paint over effect. I don't even know how to describe it. But that is how you do that. And then all you got to do once you actually, let's say even duplicate the impact over to the right, right here on that second kill on that second clip, or even the third clip, fourth clip, fifth clip of your montage, you kind of alternate between different effects and whatnot. You go here to the deliver tab, which is the rocket ship. You fill out all the information, the file name, location, bit rate, all that, and you actually render it out. And then you have your final montage, but that's basically how you actually can do that itself. But if you guys did enjoy, you learned something, make sure to go like, comment, subscribe, check out my $5 editing pack at the top of the description. Like I also said, make sure to go check out Breezelink Media's socials at the very top of the description. I'll have the Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram linked up there. So go check that out as well as the website. But I hope you guys did learn something. Drop a sub, like, comment, super close to 100,000 subscribers, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.